Dozens of evidence markers are scattered across the Kent Cemetery tonight as police try to piece together what led up to a deadly shooting. Good evening. I'm Greg Copeland. I'm Steve Solis. Let's get a closer look at where this happened. The scene is at the Hillcrest Burial Park right off of East Maple Street in Woodland Way. King 5's Kylie Greenberg is there tonight. So, Kylie, what do police know? Yeah, so we just got an update from police in the last few minutes, and what they're saying is that this victim has not been identified yet, but they did confirm that someone died here inside the cemetery earlier this evening. Now, police are still here. They're behind this fence, uh, the cemetery being a private cemetery, but take a look at this video that was taken before it got dark outside. You can see uh, that police are documenting the scene. They have placed more than 60 evidence markers there on the ground. Now, what we're hearing is that uh, officers, they showed up here around 530. They found an unresponsive man with gunshot wounds, so multiple wounds there. The officers then immediately did life-saving efforts uh, until medics arrived, but they say that the victim was pronounced dead here inside the cemetery. Now, initial information that they are learning is that there was some kind of dispute that erupted among a group which escalated to gunfire. There were then shots and then people fled. And that is what we are hearing from neighbors that we spoke to is that they heard gunshots and then people ran. Uh, police say so far this victim has not been identified. Some neighbors are wondering if this happened at a funeral that was going on inside of the cemetery. Kent police have not not confirmed why this group was gathered inside of the cemetery here. They say they're still piecing together information to find out what happened. But what we do know tonight is that Kent police say a person is dead following reports or with gunshot wounds following reports of a shooting, and they're still looking for information into what happened. Five here in Kent, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.